Hey, what's up, guys? We have another Xbox One X video. This is Killer Instinct. This is actually um, considered the first true native 4K fighter on either system that nobody cares about. Uh, this game was a launch title for the Xbox One, the original Xbox One. It was supposed to be a showcase, and it was kind of universally universally plan, um, panned for its poor visuals at the time because it was kind of one of the first titles that came out that immediately could not hit 1080p. And I remember myself again sitting in front of a 65 inch plasma, really excited about the Xbox One. I had the day one edition and I was expecting that 1080p 60 FPS and what I got was 720p, very uh, alias shimmery image. And I'll never forget like how disappointed I was. And uh, we talked about that a lot in the channel. Um, my initial disappointments with the Xbox One up until about, I don't know, last week. <laughs> so, you know, I think it's been pretty, um, if you're new to the channel, you know, um, Xbox One was a huge disappointment for me. It actually propelled me into PC gaming. And I'm actually finally happy to see some of these games you know, at 1080p. Decent game um, for if you're a fighting fan. And, you know, a cheap game too. A lot of characters. And a lot of DLC that's available for not a whole lot of money. So it kind of reminds me of Wipeout from PS4 Pro, kind of snuck out there. Nobody really knows or cares about it, but for the money, it's definitely a fun game. Since the original release, they um, kind of simplified the textures and shrank down the characters a little bit. The game got, like I said, was panned for its visual. And believe me, it was much better than 360, but I think it was, you know, demoed at E3 to be, like a lot of games to be something really special. Particle effects are pretty awesome and it is running at native 4k. They haven't changed the textures at all but they definitely smoothed out all the shimmering and problems they had with aliasing. Like a lot of those original titles, Forza had it too, had aliasing all over the trunks and the doors if you remember that game when it first launched and Battlefield was actually broken. Pretty fun game, pretty good um, weather effects in the levels. Very vibrant. Um, also, auto creation. Or reality creation is off. This is on the Sony 900E, I should say that as well. So there's no extra sharpening, there's no dynamic contrast on. I want to say, I think even live color is probably off. Apparently I'm fighting a dinosaur. We'll be doing Halo 3 next. Which actually was surprisingly brought up in resolution. I'm not sure the other game the Halo 5 was, but they skipped over Halo 4, Halo 1, and Halo 2. But that's interesting. I really can't wait to see how um, Sony responds. I'm hoping they respond in a big way. Because I love my PS4 Pro and can't wait to see how they respond. Because I know they're going to have something. But that's all I have for this game, guys. Killer Instinct. Check it out. Thank you as always. Take care.